Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Google logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of Adobe Photoshop and simple trips. And if you want to learn more about logo animation in advance, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects first. Now I have this Google logo file. Now if you are watching my tutorials then you know that whenever I animate logo I separate each and every part on different layer as you guys can see in this Photoshop file like G is on separate layer O is on separate layer just like that. So I'll save this file and I have already imported my logo file over here. All you need to do simply hit Ctrl I select this logo instead of footage we are going to choose composition returns layers and sizes and simply hit import so i have already imported this now let's create a new composition we are going to call it as main animation like we always do width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 10 second long and background color we are going to choose white color and simply hit ok go to choose grade and guide option and simply hit titles affection now we will double click on this google logo select all of this hit ctrl c to copy go to main animation and hit ctrl v right click new and create one null object select all of these layers make it apparent with this null select this null press s and scale it down okay so basically we are adjusting the size of this uh, logo let's uh, bring this let's zoom in a little bit so we can easily choose this null object and try to adjust this properly at the center with the help of arrow keys like this okay and let's delete this null object simply select all of this uh, layers press p for position by holding shift i am going to select this position so right click go to the separate dimensions create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then press s create one keyframe over here then press r create one keyframe and then hit u go somewhere around one second and create another keyframes on each and every one and in middle of that we are going to change the y position of each and every layer like this then go to the start over here we are going to select all of them and we will go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and then properly adjust it at the center so if you see we will get this kind of animation like this then uh, scaling also I'm going to make it zero so if you see we will get something like this and at this point rotation I'm going to make it one complete rotation so we will get this kind of rotation then after that we will go some for 10 frame forward and we will create one keyframe at y position and in the middle of that we will move this a little bit upward in search option I'm going to type y only and then position or you can type Y only so it will show us only Y position keyframes select all of the Y position keyframes and hit F9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this by holding shift move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here zoom in a little bit select this move and move one handle over here select this and move this handle over here this should be over here and this should be over here okay so if you see we will get this kind of stuff now i want the difference of this animation so i'm going to take a five frame difference i'll select this o and with the help of open bracket square i'll trim move this over here similarly move this over here move this over here like this so if you see this now we will get something like this select all of them press f4 and enable their motion blur so uh, we will get this kind of stuff so this is logo reveal stuff simply select all of them and press ctrl shift c and i am going to call it as logo reveal now we need to create animation which is need to happen before this logo reveal so i'll press ctrl y to create one solid background first then let's simply break this at the top let's reveal just for a while 
and press Ctrl Y again and with the help of this picker I am going to pick up this color and simply hit OK and let's uh, hide this layer for now now after that let's go to this logo and I am going to pick up this logo I mean this O over here and this O over here and I will hit Ctrl C to copy I will go over here and I will hit Ctrl V then I will press S and let's decrease the size of it like this ok over here and now uh, I have chosen this this and this color over here like this and also I am going to pick up this color and I mean this layer and I will hit Ctrl C and I will hit Ctrl V over here and let's bring this over here let's properly adjust this at the center like this and over here I need different colors over here because this uh, color combination doesn't look good uh, so what we are going to do let's see what we can do and make sure to enable this snapping so what will happen whenever you are going to move it will properly snap at the center now select this layer press s unlink this and uh, let's decrease the scale from this point and let's decrease the scale from this point like this okay now uh, what we need to do over here uh, let's see we will bring this layer at the backwards and we will bring this white layer at the over here and let's hide this for now now let's uh, try to see our color combinations we can do over here uh, which is uh, blue color i'll press ctrl shift y to open the project settings and i'm going to pick up this yellow color i want yellow color over here and for this o uh, i think a red color looks good uh, and for this o i'll go to the effected presets panel i'll apply fill effect on it and i'm going to choose that blue color over here okay which is for logo like this okay so we have choose this google logo you can play around with this color whatever you want right now i'm going to pick up stick up this stick with this one now let's adjust the position of it this should touch over here let's lock this layer for now and this one should touch over here okay like this now right click new and create one null object select this o and this o and make it apparent with this null object now select both the O and press P for position and create one keyframe. Go somewhere around 1.20 frames and create another keyframe. Go to the start. Let's select this O and let's by holding shift move out of this composition. Select this O and let's move out of this composition. Also select both the layers. Press S, create one keyframe. Hit U, go to the last, create another keyframe. Go to the start and let's make this 10. So if you see we will get the size animation. Now select this null object, press R for rotation, create one keyframe, go over here and let's make this one complete rotation. So if you see we will get something like this. Now select both the layer, all the keyframes and hit F9. So if you see this animation now, you will get something like this. Okay and uh, somewhere around at this point i want this l should start to animate so i'll move this over here i'll press s uh, let's create one keyframe over here and let's make this value let's make this value zero and create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's increase this value select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move what handles over here and select this and move one handle over here so if you see this now we will get something like this and let's minimize this and let's select all of this keyframe go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle a little bit over here like this or uh, let's select those keyframes and hit f9 let's select this and try to move this over here and let's see i think both looks weird so i'll bring this one also over here like this yeah this actually looks a little bit good as compared to this or by holding alt you can increase the duration of it also if you think that this is quite long or you can simply hit f9 and simply use easy result we don't need to adjust the graph for this one so it will look 
normal like this and then at this point i'm going to select this white layer over here and i'll move this over here and i'll bring this also at the top and enable this press s unlink this and let's make this zero or this one like this okay create one keyframe go somewhere around 4.15 and let's make this 100 similarly what we need to do i'm going to select this o which is this one let's go over here create one keyframe in position also select create one keyframe in position go over here and let's move this over here select this o and let's move this over here and select all the keyframes and hit f so if you see we will get something like this now let's go to the graph select this graph by holding shift we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here so it will give us the gate optic like structure so first we will get this then we will get this okay and then at this point which means at this point i want this google logo reveal should start to animate so i'll move this stuff over here okay so this should start from this point so i'll move this up to this so if you see first we will get this and then we will get this okay now if you want as you guys can see this is following this kind of path so what you can do to add extra stuff you can select your pen tool and you can from here to let's say here you can create this kind of stroke and let's make this fill and let's uh, add white color for example to see only the path like this and then you can go over here and let's go to the add menu choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this 100 initially create one keyframe at the end one keyframe at the start go somewhere around over here let's make this both 100 select this start value and let's move this a little bit forward so if you see you will get little bit animation let's move this over here so it will animate a little bit faster like this change the stroke width to 5 pixels only so if you see you will get this extra animation stuff you can select this hit ctrl d press r for rotation or plus s and let's make this minus 100 on this one and minus 100 on this one also okay so it will look like they are animating from both sides and if you want then you can pick up the color of this circle only, like this and for this one you can pick up the color of this circle only, like this okay so this is one way you can do it and uh, another stuff you can also add uh, you can select this o and this o and this null object because all of this are paired with this null object and you can press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and hit ok then first of all make sure that this animation looks okay <coughs> then uh, you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for eco effect <coughs> and double click to apply after applying this eco effect you can select this uh, layer instead of operator uh, add you can choose maximum and if you see over here we are getting extra stuff so let's make this 20 and over here let's make this instead of 0 0.0333 we will simply reduce this 13 and add 0 over there like this and change this value to 50 also make it decay a little so let's make this quarter resolution so if you see you will get something like this 
So this is how you can create this kind of logo reveal animation.